Good morning, Turtle Club. It is I, MagSync with Virtual Turtle Gaming, and we're, uh, we've had a rough morning today. <laughs> uh, the internet actually has been great today, actually. Um, I, on the other hand, have seen better mornings, but I think I, sh I think everything's finally settled down. I, uh, don't know entirely what I ate. <laughs> Bed. It, it should be officially fixed at this point. Uh, we are playing Sword and Shield, guys, for Galar from the Home for the Galar days. This game is amazing. I don't even know how many hours I've put into it so far, but I've been plugging away on this particular uh, save file and got back to where we were. We're approaching Holberry, which is the, the second gem. So here we go. Uh, first thing though, I'm gonna if I can get us back to a Pokemon Center. Morning, Sally. Morning. Um, actually, actually we have the we have the portable box now. We don't have to get to the Pokemon Center. I can do this here. Forgot. So, oops, that's the wrong button. All right. So while everything was going on outside of the world of Pokemon. We picked up a few things. Uh, one, we picked up some some box organization. Uh, but two, we have done a couple of raids, um, as you can see. All these raids, though, were done actually with Digrat. Uh, there's our Haunt Edge, though, and I'm really excited to get to see your grandmother today. Oh, awesome! Awesome! I. Uh, I haven't seen my grandmother in a while. I, I I have a grandmother left. I have survived two grandfathers and a grandmother so far, but um, she is in Oklahoma in a small little town, and she's pretty busy for a woman woman her age. So I, even if I was there, there'd be a hard hard uh, chance of getting there. But Digrat on her game Pokemon Shield. There's some Pokemon that only she can get and on mine Pokemon Sword there's some Pokemon that only I can get so I traded her like a a I think I've traded her Farfetch'd for something and then traded her a, a Swirlix for a Spritzy I caught myself an extra Farfetch'd still paralyzed I gotta get to a Pokemon Center to fix all that but the real big thing is she found out where the Dittos were as did I in the wild zone, I take me. Oh, oh, well, that's way cool. Save on gas and everything that way. But yeah, so the dittos are in one specific spot. There's a, a raid den. It's just north of the daycare center. You go underneath the bridge, follow the wall to the east, and there it is. If you throw in a wishing piece, uh, one of those wishing star pieces you get a chance at a rare raid and just regular raid you know or a rare raid the rare raids in there are all dittos so grab a couple of dittos by doing the raid a couple of times and we've got a couple eggs that I've smuggled from Digrat and me they should hopefully hatch during the stream while we're going through this place we have a level 23 Pikachu which I'm hoping will make good short work of the water gym we're about to come up to um, if not actually we could probably feed it some candy and be a bit better but we're going to we're going to get going here oh, so guys this uh, this next gym again is Holberry water gym now we've gotten a couple of needed Pokemon into our Pokédex, and we're gonna we're gonna see how this team's working out so far. And on my personal game, I did manage to snag a. Oh, that's gonna be a Fire Rabbit special right there. Is what that's gonna be. I did manage to snag finally. A, one or two G Max Snorlaxes. And those things are tough to snag in a ball. My goodness. 
it was not easy. Not easy at all. It took me way too many raids. Way too many raids. Now, I'm not really sure the, the G Max Pokemon long term, I don't know if they're worth it or not because they're not allowed in competitive at the moment. And they're really not easy to get good typing. Alright, so here's the Woo Bat. Come on out, Pikachu. Beating them hasn't seemed to be difficult for me and Digrat, um, but catching them afterwards. But we're also trying with multiple people. I know, Sally, you've had some uh, some internet issues. I heart out, heart out to you on that. We finally got an internet problem fixed here. Um, took the modem up to the internet provider and swapped it out, and it seems like it's settled down. So really looking forward to that. Being a real good thing when we get Free For All Friday coming up. Um, it just got so hugely, horribly bad. Alright. Don't see anything sparkling. Go ahead and... We're going to hit every single trainer up on our way between here and Holberry. Office Worker Gabriel. Crow Gunk. Crow Gunk's poison? Oh yes, oh yes. Oh. I don't remember if he's ground at this stage. If he is, we're about to lose our Pikachu. So we're going to go ahead and get Butterfree out. That's Astonish. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely some good news for us. I, um, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, he's ground type, okay. Gotta remember that for later. I like the fact that I don't have to remember much after we beat stuff. Person brings a crow gunk. Right. Now we've been grabbing some of the orb Pokemon. All right, here we go. So we beat up those next two trainers. We did our little dribble back, and here comes some plot. Center, let me in, let me in. A couple of NPCs to talk to you. to our Pokemon section here and we're going to go over one box. We're going to title this episode 5 because this is what we're on now. Through this is just a good way to track our episodes. Episode 5 because again this is a short series guys just for the month of December. We're going to be Galar. Home for the Galar days. We're gonna check our jobs here. Got this shiny new badge. Here's some jobs that we sent the guys on, so let's go see who we got coming back. Got us our three hoodoots. And for the amount of time used, especially when we get to the higher level jobs, this is the easiest way to get experience points. Oh yes, I like that. I think there's a whole lot in this game that is just really well done. 
um, just some little panache kind of things. Things that they didn't really have to add, but just made it one step better. So we're going to take just a moment here, go back to our, oh, our episode 5 box did not catch everybody. That's a problem. Where did they all go? Where did they all wind up getting put in? Box 1, okay. So these guys, we're going to go grab them, dump them in episode 5, as this is when they get back to us. And this, are you, are you a Gigamax? No, okay. But he'll still be good for, for later in life. Um, these two will be really good, especially the Morlow and the gym we got coming up. So let's let's swap Buddy out. And Fire Rabbit, as awesome as you are, you are definitely off your game when you're a little wet. So, all right rest of the Pokemon because we don't know how these guys that just came back from work are feeling. We should have... Hmm. We got some candy here. Let's go ahead and drop like 20 on each of these guys. Uh, maybe that's a healing move, right? Yeah, Sleep Powder, Absorb, Astonish, Mega Drain. We, we can just replace Absorb with Moonlight. Give Buddy like 20 as well. Give them each just a, a good, like, natural level. And it's about 20 a, a level. We're going to go ahead and feed more, well, just a couple more levels of experience points. Alright. That'll kind of help us even the playing field as we're coming here. But here we go in the plot. Our first experience with the chairman's assistant and the chairman I still not beating the fourth gem on my my primary game. And I'm still not 100% sure that Rose is 100% on the up and up. Oleana, maybe, and then Beady or Bead. Bidet, however you want to say it. Not really happy with that person because they're, they're a snot. So go eat with the chairman after the chairman's done with, after we're done getting a badge. So pretty easy stuff. There's the restaurant, all the people trying to 
get in to see the chairman. We have a couple other things we want to do real quick. Oh, here we go. Here's the first egg that we had smuggled back and forth between me and Digrat, hatching right now. There's us the second starter Sobble. Bam. It's tears packed the chemical punch of a hundred onions. And then one step later. You all know who this has got to be. I mean, if the first one was Sobble. Grookey. Alright. Now. Do I nickname to, to Grookey yet? This is the bitter herbs if you want to make your Pokemon mean or just angry. In general, you can feed them all the herbs you want. Hello, kids. How are you all doing? Found a magnet for electric type moves. I know exactly where that's about to go. Do we have a Mancino? I think we got a Mancino in one of our boxes. We don't! Oh my gosh! Well, we know where we can get a Mancino at. But first, because we do happen to have that extra little thing going on here. And we've been getting all this experience. Candies. Shadow! How's it going, man? Um, we're going to use one on Grookey. Just to see what a large piece of candy does. So, a large piece of candy is 10k experience. Boy, I feel like we just won the Price is Right showdown round. Alright, so Branch Poke, Taunt, Razor Leaf. Now we're going to take out Scratch for Razor Leaf. We are going to keep our old moves with Screech. We are going to forget the old move. Gamer 4206. Hello, hello. We're going to get rid of Growl for knockoff. And of course, we are going to say, Calm down, Grookey. Calm down, buddy. Level uh, 30 something, you'll get to you'll get to evolve. I promise. Alright, and we're going to use one of these on Sobble. Water gun, bind, water pulse, we'll forget it'll move. Growl can go away, water pulse is a great move because it causes confusion. Tearful look, forget what's important about tearful look. We'll, uh, we'll take Pound off the table for now. We probably won't use it too much during the single play. That's more of a competitive move. Uh, speaking of which, Sucker Punch. Alrighty. Sucker Punch is a, another one that's really better for competitive because you can actually guesstimate what your opponents are about to do to you. In single player, Sucker Punch misses so many times. So many times. There's so many better strategies than than what the NPCs are doing. Alright, so now we got one of each starter. We're hopefully hopefully we're gonna be hitting this gym about nine o'clock, guys. That's a stuffle, that's a swirlick. There's a there's a Mincino. 
Hey, you. How are you doing? This is my buddy Pikachu. We're going to thunder wave you and throw a ball at your head. Again, this is a great ball. Really wish we had quick balls, but we'll, we'll make do with what we got. Works pretty good. Pretty good. Alright. Level 24. Dex updated. Send her to box five. Okay. So we're going to drop off the the wanted Pokemon now. Here's the interesting thing about this game. And they, they do this in a lot of the older Pokemon games also. So it's not like it's brands making a new kind of uh, game gimmick as it were. But all these trade Pokemon generally happen... The, the Pokemon that they're wanting on the route right before. Here you go. Here's a Minchino. You may have it. Because we absolutely want the, the trainer ID. We can take a look at these things. It's not bad. I mean, realistically, it's actually really good to have this for the gym. I mean, Razor Leaf Mega Drain level twenty-three. That's that's right where you'd want to to be able to go and wreck this gym possibly. It's not a bad thing. All right. And down here, grab the shell bell. With a lot of things, are there more prizes? Yes, there absolutely are more prizes in the Moo Moo Milk, uh, Sally. So the the more Pokemon IDs you have, the more things you'll wind up matching. And the more you match, the, the better the prize. Uh, Moo Moo Milk is the, you know, the entry prize. The second tier prize, if you match two numbers, is a Pokemon Power Up. Alright. And then we got Team Yell saying we can't get, we can't go anywhere, so. And matter of fact, I'm glad you said that, because we have yet to go over here. Come on. In the door we go. Let's go ahead and hit our lotto up. We still got a few minutes. So this is the number. So it's like a lotto ticket, right? Lotto calling numbers. All your tickets, quote unquote, are the trainer IDs of the Pokemon you have. So we didn't get any matches this time. And it doesn't matter, you know, it's one digit in the right place. You get a Moomoo Milk, two digits is a PP up. Um, I forget what the, the highest levels are. Alright. Hello, lady. She has a Champions League card, too. Okay. So this is all subplot stuff. Yeah, it's really cool.
So her Pokemon is hiding. But, hmm. I don't think we'd be able to find it if we wanted to. So that is one thing I am disappointed a little bit with Sword and Shield is so far when you go into these little houses, these subrooms, until you get to some much, much later. Yo, okay. Garso. Tee hee. No way to tell. And no way to come back and tell her what they are. But usually in older Pokemon games, when you go into buildings like this, at least one of them would have some sort of good item for you. Like, go through like 10 buildings, get one item, maybe two. And in this game, it's not really like that, which is kind of unfortunate. And here we go into train station, which... Of course, throw back to black and white where you get to battle on the subway. Um, no vending machines even, which is kind of disappointed. I mean, the bigger train stations are usually you know, much, much better in the game. Back to Holbury we are. We've gone through the whole city. It's not much of a town. Um, it's a fishing town, of course. Never did get the water badge, he said. Of course, this is a water-based puzzle built by Nintendo. Kalara is a huge island. Had we talked to that NPC, we would have been told that Ness is not at the gym. She's over by the lighthouse. Here are some places to fish. There are three different Pokemon here. Wishy-washy. Um... I want to say Barboach and somebody else. Not really on our radar though, especially now that we got Sobble in the party. But what we can do is grab this. Like, uh, let's see. Actually, we're going to go and give that magnet to Pikachu. And 55, 95, 10. Nothing really that we want here. Butterfree learning electric move isn't too bad, though. Alright. Getting to some plot here. That's amazing. And here we go with Nessa's lead card. Of course, that's kind of like a an old, you know, a little Easter egg to the Loch Ness monster. There's an NPC up there. There is the adult Toxel. Toxicity. My understanding is this lighthouse that we can't get into right now because the, the velvet rope there is later unlocked after you beat the the champion. Alright, so now that she's sauntered over here to the gym we're going to save our game because we're all about saving early and saving often. I'm going to pop in here. And every single gym, stadium, it's got the same thing. First off, ball guy, how you going, man? Boom, the lure ball. Alright. 
real quick look at what they got here. Nothing that we're really interested in, but they will afterward if we're done. And these people don't talk. Here's our Pokey fan. Alright, so ready for the gym challenge, guys. Let's do this. Here we go. Gonna put on our jersey. Gonna suit up. Lucky number 13 going once again. And by the way, you can't use the Pokemon box link. Meaning, that's it. Shouldn't have said yes if you weren't ready. Here's the ref, ready to make sure that we adhere by the rules of the challenge. And yes, it is a water temple puzzle kind of thing, guys. Wooloo wrangling, not that bad. All right, here we go. Because we know our Pikachu is pretty gnarly. And we know Grookey's not bad. We want to get him some experience. We're going to swap these out. We're going to ride Grookey for a while. Gym Trainer Julia. Tempo. Grookey. The Grass Monkey. And you can see this is a 55, that's a 40. Better chance of crit, so we're definitely gonna just crit. Grass Pokemon generally aren't that fast, so Grookey's not gonna usually move first. Echo voice. But they do have the hit points to kind of make up for it. And some defense stats, in general. So where our primary has been Fire Rabbit. Grookey and Sob will both level up. Grookey wants to learn Slam. And we are more than happy to teach him Slam instead of Taunt. And we'll teach Sobble U-Turn. Now, if you actually got Sobble up to level 24 before the Grass Gym, U-Turn would have been a great move to learn. Because it would have given you a, another flexible tool against the Grass Gym. And we're going to tell these guys to calm down. Because, again, we're wanting the, the, the move spread as we move along. We got these guys not so much for their types per se, but for some of the moves they actually get. And this gym, push a button, to push a button, to push a button, to go back and forth, change the water flow, Anybody who watched this during our Ocarina time playthrough, I don't understand how that's going. Gym Trainer Heather and her Krabby Patty. Here we go. Razor Leaf. Krabby is a pure water type. One of the more stronger types from Generation 1, actually, because it became King, or, or, yeah, Kingler. And Kingler got Crab Hammer, which was a mean move. But not really a match for the Razor Leaf. Corefish is the new version of Kingler and Krabby, basically. Comes crawled on. Uh, Get some dark typing added to it. Good 
that, to be honest, between the two, um, I really have a spot for, for Krabby. That's because I started all the way back in Gen 1, though. I haven't really looked at either of their move pools, though. Because they're just better water types, unfortunately. Butterfree leveling up. Of course, we're still on. The same thing from Hawkman at time. Juggle, then switches. Move back, go forward. Turn around. Go where you gotta go. Of course, if we had to go all the way back, we can now. Oh, no, not quite. Alright. I think... You made it this far, you want to battle me, she says? Gym trainer Lynn? Rimmeray. Of course, that's... Rimmer is an interesting Pokemon, because it has two different evolutions it helps with. One is Octillery, which it just naturally becomes. And the other one is, with a Mantike, it evolves into the uh, Mantine. Which is odd, with the way they did that. Ah, uh, here comes a Cheetle. We we're good with Cheetle. A wild turtle Pokemon. Trying to be an aggressive, mean little Squirtle, but it doesn't quite pull it off. Water puzzles are fun. And at least, though, this is far better than the Water Temple. Pretty straightforward. And now we have like a straight shot between here and the entrance and the exit, if we wanted to. Alright, so Pokemon. Grookey, you've done pretty good, my boy. But Pikachu, we're about to go up here. And let's see here. We're going to save our game. go with some cutscene city. Alrighty, guys. Oh, have you ever seen the rain, guys? We just passed through the torrential downpour of that particular gym. And now, the second gym leader. Holder of badge number two. I don't think the badges even really get names in this game. They do get a neat badge holder. Am I rocking a plan? You refine mine? We're going to sink it. 
Meanwhile, she's got floaties on her shoes, guys. Uh, I mean... Like... Uh, how can you take someone seriously that has floaties on their shoes? It's not exactly what you'd call easy. Um... I don't think we need a Dynamax for the first couple fights. here. Pretty sure we're about to one-shot both these things back to back. Electrified train going. Dreadnought. Oh, it's got rock in it. Um, well, it's a good thing we got Grookey, right? Gonna lurk while you get ready to go. All right, no worries. We got uh, about 15, 20 minutes left on today's stream. Once you get Dynamaxed here. At least it's a Dynamax and not a G Max there. Max Darkness on Group. Hold on, little buddy. Hold on. All right. That high crit chance did it for us. Um... I think if we go with Butterfree, we got the biggest chance of still getting experience points for everybody. Darkness. Alright, we're just gonna side beam, because side beam is just really good all around. Oh, oh well, Butterfree. You were hanging in there as good as you could. Alright, 
right, bud, dude. You're itty bitty and definitely not in the right place, but the prince has become a pauper once again. down so that's not too bad we definitely uh, definitely did not come through here unscathed though my goodness totally washed away in the gym Grookey, keep hanging on, man. You just keep on hanging on. On the other hand, though, we have no problem letting this moral all evolve. Shut out it. Drains their vitality with its fingertips. Fairies are kind of creepy. How can this be? No, I've battled you, I think I understand. Not a bad little way of saying, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were the protagonist. Congratulations, Commander of TM, we get Whirlpool, used to be one of those HMs, but TM these days, and we get a replica of the Nessa uniform, alright, and hey, we beat you, alright, so now we get some more stuff, and we can get Poke Dolls now, really good to know, that we can just buy Poke Dolls because of the wilds. Nothing new in the revival front, though, which is okay. And of course, our our fan over here. I'm not trying to talk to the blip bug. Talk to Lady with the blip bug. I'm glad I became your fan. I'm glad I got some fans too. I'll remember your name back, Synchro. You need more fans. And of course, the Pokeball guy just doesn't. Alright. Head to the seafood restaurant at the captain's table. Here's the lead card. Go to the seafood restaurant right away, it says. Which, of course, means we want to heal up our Pokemon. Get ready to step into some more plot. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so we're going to move Shanotic here. We're gonna move Buddy here. All right, so the next gym we're about to take on is Fire. Uh, we do have a cave that we're about to go through, so these guys, for the most part, are all good. Pikachu, though, out of rotation, Buddy. Uh, we're gonna grab your uh, magnet, we're gonna bag it. Fire Rabbit, we're gonna bag your charcoal at the moment. Oh, that's a nugget on the Meowth. We're gonna bag that. Uh, wrong button. Alright. Appearing all the way from episode 4 is the core fish we got. Definitely want to put that in for the fire gym. And ground is good against fire as well. So we're going to move that over. Grookey buddy, 
you're going to go into the, the episode 5. That way we know where you last left off. Organizing these episode boxes a bit better. Well, providing I cannot move the cursor that much. And the last thing that we really want to go is this magic carp. And... Hmm. Anything all the way from episode one? Ah, there we go, mud bray. Bam. All right, so we got us a good team set up, in my opinion, for coming forward. But, since we're talking about some higher level stuff, I figure we need to give some people, and by some people I mean just one, in particular, piece of candy. And you know what? Magic Carp like that so much, we're going to give them one more. This is what I really, really like about the raids in this game, guys. Haven't touched this magic carp since we used it in the episode we caught it on. A couple candy later, there's this Gyarados. Bam. And you learn bite right away because it's a Gyarados move. And next is, let's see here, by name. Is there anything that we can teach these guys coming up? Dark move, don't really need. And we already got that typing there if we need it. Gyarados no longer considered part of the dragon family at all. Which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, we're looking for... Scald, Scarface, Seed Bomb, Shadow Bomb. Don't really want to be burning any TRs if we can avoid it. I just want to make sure that Gyarados has a water move. All right. And we got a little bit more plot. Here's a, a male in DD. You can tell by its little quaff of hair. Presumably, after you beat the champion, this gentleman here will be accessible to talk to. And plot happens. Wishing Stars, Dynamax Pokemon, all the stuff that we got going on with this particular plot. And moving forward with the plot, we need to go visit the vault in Hammerlock. We've not been able to talk, and if you guys notice, the table's still set. Dude hasn't even been able to eat yet. The assistant, with her little dead eyes, is like, we gotta go. A new TM, retaliate. And 
there's nothing else in here. So until until you beat the champion. Oh, there's a wingle outside, that's kind of funny. Until you beat the champion, all that happens here is plot. Yeah, I technically I guess you get an item, right? Alright. Galar mine number two, special training. And because, yet again, another gym leader is not where they're supposed to be, we gotta go track them down. But, check this out. This NPC I don't believe was here last time. So some NPCs change location as you advance the game. Find that kind of interesting. Don't believe anybody's here that wasn't here before. This is just a walker that has a worn balloon. Oh. Instant Sailor. So these... Um... These are weird. Some of them are needed for eggs in Pokemon. I'm not really sure. I don't even know when these stalls are open. But we are going up to Galar Mine number two now. This Team Yell is no longer there. Uh, Galar Mine number two has got very similar mechanics to the first Galar Mine. Pokemon running around, minding their own business. Oh, be Hold on a minute. Corfish? I thought you did. Alright. I'm sorry, B. You seem to be quite mistaken. Of course, this will be as far as we get into the mine, guys. We will basically be going a little bit past the mine in tomorrow's stream because this is the last little bit we got here. So we're going to go ahead and night slash this thing. Be it, of course, much like the gym leaders, strictly uses one type of Pokemon. Not the brightest thing. We will super take advantage of that. Here comes Gothita. Psy Shock, huh? Super potion, huh? We will just rewind that. Of course, Corfish does have a little bit on the, the low speed side of things. Level 25 Sobble. Yep, we'll switch our Pokemon because we do know that Sobble's got U turn. If you do 
considerable amount of damage. And we get to swap out. Um... Swing, last dark move, take out Athena. And we'll go back to Sobel because the swap tactic is really good tactic, especially when you're going from like water to ground or water to flying. Because we know there will be some kind of move they're going to try. So we know they're going with confusion. So we'll use the U-turn. And we'll just pull out gear to this this time. Get an old move for waterfall. Splash goes away by splash. Couple of levels up. I think Sobble leveled up. Yep. card. Alright, and this is where we're going to end our little spot, guys. And it's been a pretty good stream. Uh, I wish we would have been able to get things going a little earlier. Unfortunately, life kind of got in the way. But Sally and Shadow, uh, two of our actual channel sponsors, thank you. For being here today really appreciate it and gamer 4206 good morning and thank you again for being here as well i do have work tonight um, but uh, this week life should not do anything special or freaky or weird so i'm really happy that we're going to be able to stream every single morning this week 8 30 to 9 30 monday tuesday wednesday and thursday and this friday and saturday we'll be going from seven to nine and Saturday, we should be able to get us a buffet stream. And Friday night, we should be here for Free For All Friday with the new internet that's just knocking out of the park. Thank you, everybody, for being here and for just sticking out with us while we just got out of it fixed. Um, we're going to save our game. Um, I, myself, am going to have a good night. You all have a good morning, a good breakfast, lunch, dinner, a good trip. If you're going on a trip like Sally is, whatever you're about to do, Turtle Club, have a good one. And thanks for watching. Take care.